really started with day one. So finished up nationals in March last year. Obviously very pleased with how everything went. And then about three days later, I was back in the pool. Started running, lifting again. And, you know, the past 11 months have been pretty much nonstop training, which obviously gets a little tedious at points. You know, you start to get tired. But you know, if you have that end goal in sight, I always think you can motivate yourself through it, even without – uh, we didn't have a rest taper meet in the winter. Most teams do, and we kind of trained through it. So I think we're looking forward to a really big drop taper at Champs in a couple weeks, which I think will help a lot. No idea what to expect. I've been to Franklin and Marshall before with my Y team, so I was familiar with the pool, but the championships itself, I had zero expectations. All I wanted to do was go in and have fun and see what the result would be. It was very exciting to win that award, um, but as exciting as it was, nothing will beat the excitement of the last relay, with, which was the 400 freestyle relay, where our B relay just touched out Ursinus, causing us to win the championship by seven points. That was absolutely amazing, and that's something that I'll never forget personally. Yeah, it's really just a huge honor um, to win that because there's so many great swimmers in our conference. And, you know, everybody puts in so much work um, to prepare for the meet. And so it was just an honor to receive it. I mean, you definitely can't do it alone. Obviously, you know, when you jump in the race, uh, with the exception of relays, it's all about yourself. But getting to the point where you need to be to compete at a level like conferences or nationals, doing it as a team is so important. I know when I go home in the summer, training sometimes alone is really hard. Hard to motivate yourself getting in the pool, but when I come back to school, I love having all my teammates there. Um, getting through some distance workouts with my team or just racing, the environment and practice coming in and seeing everyone really excited to get better, which is an attitude that I think has changed a lot over the past couple of years. And we've taking it to a new level that now everyone is really excited to come in and train. And I think that just helps you a lot because if you're trying to do everything yourself, sometimes you get stagnant or start to get content with not doing as well as you should be. But when you have people challenging you or motivating you a little bit more to do your best, I think it's huge. Swimming is an individual sport in the sense that you are swimming your own personal times and you have your own personal goals. But being a part of a team, especially in college, I didn't really have this in high school, but in college you learn to swim for your teammates. And you learn to swim to beat the person next to you, not to get a personal best time. So that really, I mean, we, our team is such a family in the sense that we eat together, we practice hours upon hours together, we go through the wins and losses together, we cry together, we're happy, the cheering, like everything like is such a factor into like making us a family and when you race you learn or for me at least you learn to race for your teammates and so that really is the big team aspect in it and in championships last year I went in with the mindset to just swim for my team and that's what I did and it was a lot of fun and it had a good outcome so I'm going to you know so my hardest and hope to like cheer on my teammates as well and hopefully we'll have some really strong relays. Um, we have a lot of um, freshmen that came in. I think like we had 22 incoming freshmen. So that should be exciting to see how their first conference meet goes. Um, obviously, after last year, I expect to win, obviously. That would be crazy not to. So the competition is insane, obviously. Last year, Gettysburg has some incredible swimmers. Washington's improved huge, got a ton of great freshmen, so I'm looking at even stiffer competition. Do I expect to win? Absolutely, because I think I've trained to the level which can get me to win. But do I expect, you know, people to challenge me? Absolutely. You know, I have a target on my back, and I put that on myself last year, training hard, and I knew, you know, for the past 11 months, there's no reason why I should ever take, you know, a little bit off the gas pedal because I have to go for it 100% all the time. Um, especially the relays. We're looking to take at least four, if not all five, of our relay records for the team off the board. We're really excited and hopefully going to get a team to go to NCAAs and the 800 free relay. So obviously everybody's been working for it. It's been that goal since the beginning of the year, and we're incredibly excited for the next couple weeks. I think if we go in with zero expectations and just to have fun and 
get up and race and swim hard, that's all really you can ask for. I mean, we the training is done. It's all behind us. There's nothing that we can do about it. All now we can do is just continue to stay positive and stay confident and strong and just get up and race.